Just to spread the love, Jimmy. I don't want you only coming in the middle, right? All right, get set at mid shin for us, Richard. And high pull. And back down to mid shin. And high pull. And mid shin. And high pull. All right, Mike, what are you thinking? Visual cue for wrong and then right. Hmm. All right, Richard. Looks better, looks better. Hmm. Okay, so you tell me what were you trying to fix because I don't think I saw a difference in your movement for your demo. His, uh, he was pulling before his. Okay, I actually think the timing was, was okay on that lift. So something that you want to think about from your visual is, I don't know if you guys were struggling to see the difference. I actually kind of just saw him break it up. I didn't necessarily see the difference in the timing. So I would just say try to make it a little bit more obvious. Let's try to walk. Let's say that he is pulling early. Let's see your visual cue for that again. How could you do it more obvious for us, Mike? Yeah, awesome. Cool. So you guys see how that's way more obvious? And then what would be good for that? So you want to, yeah, that would be bad, like this is what you're doing? I want you to do? Yeah, okay, so that would be a more clear example, I think, of the visual cue. Let's watch Richard again. Come on over here, Mike. What was that thing that we talked about? Um, I don't want him to hear it too much. Was an athlete allowed to come up on their toes? Yeah. Well, well, before. Only because of what? Their hip extension. Yeah. And so that's we, what I was trying to get here. Yeah, so we want to make sure that if he comes up on his toes, it's after he comes back to that straight line and that pressure stays back in his heels all through that part, okay? So I want you to try to watch that and actually the, a little bit more um, side view might help here. So come on over here, just a smidge. Here we go, Richard. Now you might have heard some mumblings, but whatever. Here we go, ready? And high pull and reset. Do you think that he's coming to his toes because of an after violent hip extension or before? before. Yeah, so let's think of a visual cue to try to fix that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. From a coaching perspective, still could be a little complicated to take all of that in, right? You're like, oh my yeah. God, this is a lot for them to watch. How else can we just sort of accentuate this idea maybe of trying to keep the heels down? Keeping, don't even use the arms, maybe just the legs. Yeah, I might just that do might something have. so simple like, Richard, you're like this. I want you to be like this. Now, if the heels come up slightly because of and after, that's okay. But right now, I'm just trying to get a really simple visual cue. So try that. I want you to just give that a try, Mike. Richard, this is what you're doing. Yeah. Great. Here we go, Richard. And high pull. Huh. Better, same, or worse. One more time. One more time. And high pull. Okay, a little bit better, a little bit better. Still doing it, we'd probably have to get in there with maybe a tactile cue, maybe a verbal cue, something like that. But that was kind of the fault I was gonna pull him in. And same thing with uh, Jimmy and a little bit Jose. I, was I that thought, premature? Yeah, see, when I saw that at first, and I thought it was because of the hips, so that's why I was trying to see oh, okay. the hips would do that first, and then I gotcha. they go to that. Okay. I thought, I yeah, I think it was just more of a shift and less to do about the arm timing. So that's why I would have gone after that. Cool, but that's it. Really simplify your movement and just show it really bad, worse than it might be, and then good so that your athlete can clearly see the difference.